The Sikorsky S-67 Blackhawk was a private venture, prototype attack helicopter built in 1970 with Sikorsky Aircraft Research and Development Funds. A tandem, two-seat aircraft designed around the dynamic drive and rotor systems of the Sikorsky S-61, it was designed to serve as an attack helicopter or to transport up to eight troops into combat. The United States Army issued a request for proposals for its Advanced Aerial Fire Support System program on 1 August 1964. Lockheed offered its CL-840 design, a rigid rotor compound helicopter. Sikorsky submitted the S-66, which featured a rotor prop, serving as a tail rotor but as speeds increased would rotate 90 degrees to act as pusher prop. The design was to have a speed of 200 knots with the ability for 250 knots for brief periods. The U.S. Army awarded Lockheed and Sikorsky contracts for further study on 19 February 1965. On 3 November 1965, the Army announced Lockheed as the winner of the AAFSS program selection. The Army perceived Lockheed's design as less expensive, able to be available earlier, and that it would have less technical risk than Sikorsky's rotor prop. Lockheed's design soon ran into development problems and cost and timelines began to grow. Sensing an opportunity, Sikorsky offered an armed Shish-3 Sea King version. After further AAFSS problems, the company developed an intermediate, high-speed attack aircraft named the Sikorsky S-67 Blackhawk in 1970. Design work on the S-67 began in November 1969 with manufacturing following in February 1970. The S-67 featured a five-bladed main rotor and tail rotor. The main rotor was taken from the S-61, but was modified to have a hub fairing, swept main rotor blade tips and a special Alpha-1 linkage which was added to the main rotor controls to increase collective pitch sensitivity and so extend the collective pitch range. The 20 degrees swept main rotor blade tips help to overcome a phenomenon called sub-multiple oscillating track that causes variations in tip track at high Mach numbers. These allowed the S-67 to achieve and maintain high cruise speeds. To reduce drag at high speed, the main wheels retracted fully into the stub wing sponsons. It had speed brakes on the wing trailing edges that could be used to decrease speed or increase maneuverability. The S-67 was fitted with a moving map display, a hands-on collective radio tune control, and night vision systems. The S-67 Blackhawk, along with the Bell 309 King Cobra, was put through a series of flight test evaluations in 1972 by the U.S. Army. Instead, the Army chose to create the new Advanced Attack Helicopter Program, which would lead to the A-64 Apache several years later. The S-67 performed a series of aerobatic maneuvers during its various marketing tours, including rolls, split S, and loops. The S-67 was reputed to be very smooth and responsive, in spite of its size and speed. Piloted by Sikorsky test pilots Kurt Cannon and Byron Graham, the S-67 established two E-1-class world speed records on 14 December 1970 by flying at 348.97 km per hour over a 3 km course, and 355.48 km per hour on 15 to 25 km course on 19 December 1970. As part of internal Sikorsky R&D efforts, in 1974, the S-67 had a 3.5-foot diameter ducted fan fitted instead of its original conventional tail rotor. The S-67 with fan was tested over 29 flight hours to compare to the conventional tail. In this configuration it reached a speed of 230 miles per hour in a test dive. The original tail rotor and vertical tail fin were reinstalled in August 1974. The lone S-67 prototype crashed while conducting a low-level aerobatic demonstration at the Farnborough Air Show on 1 September 1974. The crew misjudged their pitch in a low-level roll maneuver causing the nose to drop below the horizon. They attempted to recover from their inverted position by performing a split S maneuver, but they were too close to the ground and the aircraft struck the ground in a level attitude and immediately burst into flame. Sikorsky test pilot Stu Craig died on impact, and test pilot Kurt Cannon died nine days later from his injuries. Development work on the S-67 ceased after this accident. The United States Army later assigned the name Black Hawk to the Sikorsky U-60 Black Hawk helicopter.